So 44% of us are actually having less sex during lockdown, not more sex, even though we've got more time. And there are plenty of reasons why this is happening. Now, the first reason is that we are very used to having our lives segregated. So you'd both go normally go off to work. One of you would drop the kids off to school. OK, you'd have couple time on the weekend. You'd know, OK, this is Saturday night. This is when I'm supposed to be in my lover mode or my couple mode. What's happening during lockdown is that you're doing every single thing together. You're cooking together, you're cleaning together, you're exercising together, you're homeschooling together. So the lover role that you would normally know when that fits into your schedule is being pushed to the side, it's being squashed and demoted. Now to get that back, to remind yourselves that you're not just parents, you're not just friends, you need to increase what's called sex currency. Now Dr, I think her name was um, Karen Gurney, Karen Gurney who writes for The Guardian, was the one who coined this term and what it is it's it's the stuff that you do with your partner that's not sex but that you don't do with anyone else so that could be a kiss on the lips it might be like playfully grabbing your partner's bum or something like that something that you probably wouldn't do with a friend now if you start to increase this sex currency this reminds you that in fact you're not just friends you're not just parents you are lovers as well so you need to do that you need to increase your sex currency now, the other thing that's missing is novelty. We are all being starved of all the stimulation we're used to, okay? Work, colleagues, pubs, restaurants, everything, it's all gone. So it's up to you to stimulate your brain. If you stimulate the brain with new things, the body will follow and desire will increase again. We're all feeling a bit apathetic and flat. So that could mean cooking something new. It might mean, for some people, doing a jigsaw puzzle. It might mean learning French. It might be just anything at all that you don't normally do to trick the brain into thinking, okay, this is great, this is novel. And of course, you have to do new things in bed as well. But again, they don't have to be dramatic. It could be sex in a different room. It might be trying a new position. It might be using a sex toy with your partner when you would normally use it on your own. So anything at all, really, to mix it up.